In this quick video guide, I want to show you how you can go from a photo, from an image, and create a texture that then you can use in a 3D software like Blender, for example. And you can do this with Photoshop, so you can turn uh, an image into an actual texture. So in another video guide, we talk about how to remove the, the seams and the defects and errors from the texture. So in this video, we're just gonna concentrate on this passage. So you can check other videos and uh, also courses in Photoshop and Blender in the channel. So I'm gonna open this image here. Let's start with this image that I have in my database, but you can use any perspective image that you want when you wanna like get a material from that. And you have two different tools that you can use. The first one, and let's also unlock this uh, layer. I'm just gonna open uh, the Photoshop software a little bit better. Now you can use two different uh, ones. The first one will be the perspective warp. So you need to click here and draw a grid using the points. And then when you define the grid, you just, um, you can warp and make this straight using vertical lines and horizontal lines like this. So then you say, okay. And then you just need to crop out the part that you don't need and with the crop tool with a one to one crop tool you can like only get the text that you need for example i can use only this one here and that's one way the other way is to use the uh, perspective crop so if you go in the crop tool go to perspective crop and again it's similar you just click on these to apply the vertices and then you just go OK, and that's gonna like create a flat uh, image. And then perhaps you, you wanna also transform it and uh, stretch it a little bit or compress it a little bit to make it uh, better. So texture usually is kind of a square uh, image that uh, then you use, and this will be called the diffuse layer. So if you wanna use this in a three D environment, this is gonna be your diffuse layer so uh, again let's use a one-to-one -one crop and i'm going to say okay and then this is going to be the diffuse so you will go to file save as and save it as a png or jpeg or other formats that are readable by the 3d software and you probably save this as diffuse texture this is usually how it's called but also like albedo or color texture and so on so once you have that texture, let me show you here, I already have one. You can then make it a normal map and a height map, which will uh, be useful to uh, create your 3D material in a 3D environment. So to do this, we go to filter and you go 3D and then generate normal map when you wanna use a normal map and just wait a few seconds, it's gonna create, there we go. Now you can also adjust it using this uh, little panel and like change the blur the the tail scale and all these parameters and when you're ready you say okay and does just, just save this or export quickly as png and this is going to be exported like normal map now to create the the other one i'm just going to go back go back to filter and there you go just go here and generate bump the bump map, which is black and white uh, image, and can be used not only for the bump, but also for the displacement or height map effects. Now, again, if you're interested, you find other courses, other guides in the channel talking about this uh, specific topic in Blender or like uh, Maya, 3D Studio Max, and so on. So I'm gonna use Blender for this example. So once you set, created your texture and saved all your texture, Let's go now into Blender, and this is already the, the where the texture have been applied. So I'm gonna show you this from the beginning. Just gonna go with a new general file, and just let me change the language in um, English for you. So there you go, and we're gonna use that just the standard box, and we don't care about the mapping the the same the, the the repetition of the section we're just doing something quick for this video and so i'm just gonna jump into the shading interface so this is where you have the material and then you can just drag and drop the texture from the folder 
so drag it in here or you can just add it from here so I'm gonna add texture and I'm gonna add a image texture I'm gonna place the link here in the base color and then I'm gonna open the image that I saved as the fuse so the the one that contains the color and open image and that's the color image now for the bump or the normal depends on what you you kind of use in this material for example we have normal so we can use normal but before using normal we need another node so i'm going to go to add vector and use a normal map node and then here i'm going to apply the other texture i'm going to link this to the normal i'm going to click and drag this outside and a type texture so you can quickly go or uh, well actually let's type image texture and there you go so it's gonna be already linked all I need to do is going to open that normal map so again right here I've already prepared the normal map now you won't see much about the normal map effect using this simple visualization but if we go back to layout and change this to render you will see the the normal effect especially when you use light so you need to have lights you need to have some render running so this is EV which is kind of the uh, quicker rendering now if you want actual 3d so because this is just a 3d effect if you want actual 3d you can use um, another modifier so I'm gonna switch to solid and I'm gonna select the object apply a modifier here into the form choose this place and then apply a new texture by clicking on new and clicking on these details and clicking on open you go to the texture and select the bump map or displacement map or height map and once it's placed you it's not going to be visible at first because you need to make some fixing here on the object itself so I'm going to go to the edit mode with the object selected, right click and start to subdivide and subdivide more and more and more and then change back into object mode. And there you see the, the displacement effect. Now we need to fix this a little bit. So we're going to go here and we're going to change the direction if we want like to direct it on a specific um, uh, direction, but I'm just going to use normal here. And here coordinates are going to use UV. So you, you see it's going in every direction. And then just decrease the strength. So there you go. You have that effect right there. And then you can also adjust the mid level a little bit here. And that's it. So this is how you, you generate the various effects. And then we can go back to the material preview so you can see both the displacement effect and the normal map. So you can work with all them all together and that's basically it so that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed please subscribe to the channel check the courses about photoshop and uh, blender but also other 3d software and graphic design in our channel and if you want to support us if you want to thank us please join the channel as a supporter